Toro University's brand new College of Osteopathic Medicine is officially opened and they kicked off their orientation week on Monday. So the location here, the hope is to be able to graduate uh, students that are now physicians who will train in areas that we have available in Montana. We will also start residency programs in Montana. The Toro College of Osteopathic Medicine had been in the works for about three years and the first class of students will begin classes on July 31st. So the students here will have the benefit of an education that is proven. Um, we have outcome studies where our students and graduates get 100% placement in residency. They get um, excellent board scores and so we will be able to provide that to him here in the state of Montana. This location is the largest and first nonprofit medical school in the state of Montana. This will benefit the students as well as the community in a variety of ways. Oh, it is such an honor and such a privilege to be here to welcome them as the inaugural class for the first nonprofit and largest medical school in the state of Montana. One goal of this new college is to hopefully benefit the rural and frontier communities who don't necessarily have easy access to medical care. And so we hope that by uh, having this campus here that the students will be exposed to rural and frontier medicine and that they'll uh, hopefully decide to open up practices and to be a part of clinics that serve those populations so that people here can get better access to medical care. Dr. Palmarosi said they have felt welcomed by the community of Great Falls and are grateful to everyone who has helped them in getting to this point. Uh, we are just absolutely thrilled to be here. The community of Great Falls has been extremely welcoming and instrumental in bringing us here and supporting us. And to learn more and get a better idea of what the College of Osteopathic Medicine here in Great Falls is all about, you can check out our website at krtv.com. In Great Falls, I'm McKenna Holman, MTN News.